Hello and welcome to Telesaurus from the South, our daily news show. We kick it off in Latin America. In a televised event, Venezuela's interior and justice minister, Nestor Reverol, oversaw the destruction of almost 2,000 weapons which had been seized by different security forces across the country. The minister said that so far this year, the government has disabled over 17,000 firearms and since 2013, they've removed more than 400,000 firearms from circulation. Roughly 1,500 Hondurans marched in Tegucigalpa against what they call the criminalization of social struggle. This is the latest protest demanding justice for some 250 official deaths since 2009. These deaths include indigenous leader Berta Cáceres, who was murdered five months ago. Protesters say they reject the criminalization of the struggle of workers, campesinos, and indigenous peoples. They also demand environmental defense against hydroelectric and mining companies. The United Nations has admitted for the first time that its peacekeepers in Haiti are directly linked to the outbreak of the cholera epidemic in the aftermath of the devastating 2010 earthquake. The epidemic first struck Haiti in October 2010. The first people affected by the outbreak live near a UN base housing over 450 peacekeepers recently transferred from Nepal where cholera was already an issue. Their use of a nearby river as a bathroom led to contamination and the spread of the disease. A video published online on Wednesday by the Aleppo Media Center showing the aftermath of airstrikes in rebel-held Aleppo has gone viral. In particular, the image of a five-year-old boy among those pulled from the rubble has shocked the world and reminded everyone of the toll of Syria's civil war. At least 12 people were killed and over 200 wounded in two separate bomb attacks in the southeast of Turkey. The dead victims included four police officers and one child. According to officials, over 8,000 people have been evacuated from their homes in Southern California. The fire began on Tuesday, and according to authorities, it grew overnight by over 5,000 acres. Hundreds of homes are feared to have been destroyed. Acting Prime Minister of Spain Mariano Rajoy says that he has taken a decisive step towards forming a government. Earlier today, Rajoy agreed to a pact with the right-wing party Ciudadanos. However, he still lacks the majority needed for a second term. The leader of the Conservative People's Party said he is now ready to face a parliamentary vote to form a government. Chinese Premier Li Keqiang and Myanmar's first state councillor Aung San Suu Kyi met in Beijing where they vowed to further strengthen bilateral ties. According to Li, China is willing to consolidate political mutual trust with Myanmar and strengthen cooperation on multiple levels. Filipino workers who are stranded without pay in Saudi Arabia will be repatriated to the Philippines at no charge. According to the officials, some 33,000 workers have been surviving in poor living conditions, struggling to get food and medical treatment. The Popular Assembly, in solidarity with the four Palestinian youth who were kidnapped in Egypt's Sinai last year, organized a solidarity rally in front of the International Committee of the Red Cross in Western Gaza City Thursday morning. Dozens of protesters, including the relatives of the abductees, urged the Palestinian Authority and the international community to intervene to reveal the whereabouts of their sons. They have been abducted for one year. We want to know where they are. All parties should act. This is a humanitarian issue. Four youth were abducted from a bus in an area under Egyptian sovereignty. Egyptian authorities are responsible for their abduction. Unidentified gunmen sized four members of the Palestinian Islamic group Hamas from a bus that was traveling to Cairo from the Gaza Strip on August 19, 2015, and led them to an unknown direction. The road from the Rafah crossing runs through northern Sinai, where the Islamic State group affiliate Sinai Province has staged a series of deadly attacks against the Egyptian armed forces. Hamas accused Egypt of backing the abduction of its members, who were among 50 Palestinian passengers who left Gaza in rare three-day opening of the Rafah crossing. Egypt has previously accused Hamas of supporting militants in Sinai, who plot to topple its government, an allegation which Hamas has repeatedly denied. Nurharazin Tirsou TV, Gaza. And finally, according to Brazilian police, U.S. Olympic swimmers invented the story about being robbed. This came in an effort to disguise a dispute over a damaged gas station door. 
Three of the swimmers are still in Brazil. The fourth, Ryan Locke, returned to the United States on Monday. The swimmers could face charges of vandalism and false identity. And that's it for From the South. You can find these and other stories on our website, telesortv.net slash English.